Hey everyone and welcome to Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, the author of Unprocessed, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss, and the soon to be released Own Your Health. And this is where I show you recipes that will help you achieve and maintain healthy, permanent, and sustainable weight loss. So today I'm doing a recipe from my upcoming book, Owned for Health. And what it is, is it's a peanut-free peanut sauce. So no peanut peanut sauce. Peanut sauce is delicious, but it's really high in fat and generally high in salt and sugar too. It's usually peanut butter and soy sauce and maple syrup. So that's why we like it so much. We just love anything with sugar, fat, and salt separately or when combined. And you know, when you think about it in nature, sugar, fat, and salt never exist together in any foods. You know, we weren't meant to activate those pathways all together. So I'm going to show you a healthier version that's very low fat and delicious. So what do you put peanut sauce on? Well, my favorite thing is using it as a dipping sauce for what I call sweetheart fries or sweet potato fries. So I've already got them started here. I use my Breville because for me, all the other air fryers are just too small to make enough food for my husband and myself. I've already done one tray. This is the second tray and I use the organic sweet potatoes from Trader Joe's because the three pound bag is one serving for both of us for dinner. So we each eat about a pound and a half per meal. I love this little tool you can find in my Amazon store because you can see how easy it is. Whoop, the suction cups were not to make fries. It's so hard to cut sweet potatoes, but with this little tool, perfecto. And I'm just gonna put it in the air fryer for 30 minutes at 400 with the little button that reminds me to rotate the trays. And then if they're not done, I'll just add a little time. So here's how you make the sauce. In your high powered blender, we are going to start with our lemon juice. Um, excuse me, lime juice. I don't know why I said lemon juice, lime, 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 lime. And if you use fresh, always add the zest. I suppose you could use lemon, but limes just are more authentic, I think, and sweeter. Unsweetened rice vinegar. My dates, I'm using pitted deglet nor. My ginger, my garlic, and my crushed red pepper flakes. I always keep ginger in the freezer in knobs about this size so that it's easy to use for recipes because I don't use it all the time, so that works out very well. And instead of peanuts, I am using roasted chestnuts. Now, chestnuts still have calories, but they are very, very low in fat. Ann Esselstyn taught me about them a long time ago. And this is the brand you can get in my Amazon store. Some stores will carry them, and sometimes even Costco carries them. So I'm putting that in now. And now I am going to blend. add a lot of water to this, but we want to add enough to get it to blend. So I just have a little bit here. Remember, you can always add, you can't take away. So, you know, what did I do? That was maybe like a quarter of a cup. And let's see if it'll blend a little easier. I'd rather do it right than do it over. So now another little bit. So that was, yep, actually, so I started with two cups. Now it says 12 ounces, but it's better to do it like this than to be sorry. Still a little too thick for blending, but again, trust me, when you go too much, you're going to be sorry because then you're going to have really runny peanut sauce. We're almost there. I'm waiting for what's called the vortex where it sort of kind of goes on its own. So now I've added about, looks like I'm so bad at math. This was 16 ounces, now we're at 10 ounces. So I've added six ounces of water so far. This feels like it's gonna be good. Because I'm making such a small amount, it's getting stuck on the sides a little bit. So I'm just gonna scrape it down. Oh yeah, this looks good. But I need to scrape down the sides to get it all incorporated. Oh, it looks like peanut sauce. It smells like peanut sauce. There we go. So let's give it one more little try. I know 
I said it was it, but let's do a little bit more. Okay, so that was a whole cup now. This should be perfect. I'd rather do it that way, like I say, than have to have it so runny that I would have to add more ingredients. So this is the consistency that I was looking for. And you can see the color is like peanut sauce. It's got sort of a nice light brown. So you can see it's thick. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. And this is going to be a delicious dipping sauce for our fries. So there you have it. Peanut free peanut sauce, which is going to go great with your sweetheart fries. I hope you will try this recipe and if you do, let me know if you like it. I'm Chef AJ and I make healthy taste delicious so that you can have both the health and the body you so richly deserve. Take care.